Hello and welcome to another Drex video. Today we will be looking at the perimetry assessment, what you will see and how to complete this assessment. After starting the assessment you will see the instructions to remain sitting centrally. Make sure that you are facing the screen and sitting centrally before clicking or tapping anywhere on the screen to start the assessment. The next screen you will be presented with are the instructions for the perimetry assessment. In this assessment you are required to look at the four red dots in the centre of the screen. Try not to move your eyes around the screen and remain looking at these four red dots. During this assessment a white dot may or may not appear briefly somewhere on the screen, either at the centre of the red dots or somewhere else. Your objective is to click on the location of where this white dot appeared. On trials where no dot appears, the next trial will begin automatically after 10 seconds. Click or tap anywhere on the screen to start the trials. After clicking or tapping the screen, you will be presented with a trial. The first thing you will see is a cross in the centre of the screen. This is just to tell you to look in the centre of the screen. This cross will be replaced by four red dots. Try to stay looking at the four red dots throughout the assessment. After a short period of time, a small white dot may or may not appear somewhere else on the screen. Your job is to click or tap on the location where you saw the white dot, depending on whether you are using a computer or a tablet device. After completing half the trials, you will be presented with a halfway message, just telling you to keep going. After completing all of the trials, you will receive a message just informing you that the assessment is over. If you have any issues or want to know more about Drex, then you can get in contact with us in a number of different ways. You can call us on 0191 334 0105. You can visit our website at www.durham.ac.uk slash Drex. You can email us at drex.training at durham.ac.uk. You can also follow us on Twitter at drex underscore durham for the latest updates to the app. And finally, we have a blog where we post regularly about Drex, our research and what we are up to. This can be found at drexdurham.wordpress.com. Don't hesitate to get in touch and we will see you soon.